Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jennifer Kurtz and I'm with the Children's Museum of Houston and today I would love to show you how to make your own chia pet. Um, but before we start, we need to go through and make sure that we have all the materials that we need. So I have my bag and I already set out some of our materials, but it's gonna look like this and then you look at whatever materials on the day list that's stapled to the inside of your bag. So we need a tablespoon of chia seeds. I have my chia seeds right here one cup of soil, I have my soil, a pantyhose, a rubber band, uh, some pipe cleaners, and a plastic spoon. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is mix together our soil and our chia seeds. So I'm going to measure one cup of soil. Let's go ahead and pour that in there. So I'm just using one of the measuring cups that I have at home. So one, make sure that you shake out the dirt so you make sure that you have the exact amount that you need. All right, so I have one cup of soil there. And then you get one tablespoon of chia seeds. So let me go ahead and measure that out. And I'm gonna just pour it in. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna use my plastic spoon to mix all of these things together because we wanna make sure that the chia seeds are mixed in nicely with the dirt. So when we pour it into our pantyhose, it's evenly spread out because we want it to make our chia pet sprout from all different angles. All right, so I have that mixed out. Now you need to take your pantyhose and you need to have one that's cut to about 10 inches. Um, I went ahead and cut mine, but I don't have a ruler at home. So I'm just gonna use my little measuring tape here. Double check that it's around 10 inches and it is. So we're gonna take one of these little plastic cups here, put it in, and when you cut it, you wanna make sure that you don't cut the toe end so that the closed end, you need this to catch the soil. So I'm gonna put, do it like this and then put the edges over the side of my plastic cup so that when I pour my soil in, it'll fill up. Now, what I like to do is take one of my rubber bands and hold it and put it onto the outside of the cup so that it holds my pant my uh, pantyhose in its place so that when I pour, it doesn't go all over the place. All right, so we have that wrapped. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna pour in my soil and my seeds. Now this can be a little bit messy, so if you wanna do it outside, I think that would be a great idea. Now I'm pouring it in a little bit at a time and making sure that I push it down and kind of shake it out. And I think I might have tied that my rubber band's a little too tight. Yes, that I did. So I put my rubber band on a little too tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off since I've already started to pour the soil in. And then we continue to do this. All right, pour and push. I think that's the best way. Pour a little bit, and then you're gonna to wanna to push it down so it gets nice and full. Might take you a couple steps to do this. It's okay if it gets a little bit messy. Just make sure that you clean up after. All right, we just have a little bit more to go. Whoops, see I missed a little bit, it's okay. Okay. Now with this little bit, I'm gonna have to hold it open. Um, you can ask a grown up to help you or the grown up can pour while you hold, but I think it's a good idea if, the, if you hold it, or if you do the pouring. Works on the good fine motor skills. Okay, so I have it all tightened in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie a tight knot. All right, but I'm also gonna use my rubber band here and just make sure that it's super tight because I don't want any of my soil to come out or my seeds. All right, 
So now is the fun part. You get to decorate. So in your kit, you've been given some markers. Um, in your general, let me push that aside. Your general kit, you've been given some markers. Um, you also have some different pipe cleaners. Um, what I went ahead and did is I cut some in half or cut some smaller and I twisted them together so that the pointy end is out. So this is the, each of your pipe cleaner has wire on the inside. So I did it to where the um, wire is facing outward so I can just kind of poke it into my chia pit. So like, kind of like that and then it'll stay. So you just want to be careful when you're doing the little bit, little pokes. Did the same thing with the eyes, but you guys can make your chia pet however you like it to. You can use your markers to decorate it. You can use googly eyes or whatever arts and craftsy things that you guys have in your house. Let's see, this guy is going to look kind of funny. All right, so I did a couple eyes and a mouth and yay, my chia pet. Okay, the next stage is you can't have anything grow without water. Everything needs water. So I'm going to go ahead and set my little chia pet inside here. And you want to add some water, but you don't want to add too much water. You don't want it to be swimming in it, but you also don't want it to be, to be too little. So just kind of be careful with how much you pour. I'm doing enough just to wet the top, get it incorporated a little bit inside of the chia pet. Okay, so you can see that the water is going different places. So you can see where it has set, and then I have a little bit in the bottom, which is totally okay. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and leave it in this cup, set it outside or in a window that has some access to some natural light, and then watch it grow. So I would check back on it. You can check with it every day. Definitely check on it every couple days to make sure that it has enough water. And then you can also draw a picture of different days of what your chia pet looks like. So day one, it would look like this with no growth. Day two, do the same thing. You might start to see a little bit. Day three, definitely by the end of day seven, you should definitely start to be seeing some growth. So you can use your markers, use some pens, draw some diagrams, and then just kind of discover what you find out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope your chia pet rocks and grows really well. Bye.